What happens when a cut is made in the ground forming an excavation? Well, we're going to be looking at the basics of answering this question in the video. So, let's see what's going on in the ground before we even make a cut. Here we have the ground level, and I'm just going to draw an enlarged 3D particle in the ground, like so. On each face of this particle, we have pressures acting on them. We have vertical and horizontal pressures. These pressures are due to the soil around the particle. Now, the first important thing to note is when the soil is at rest, at rest conditions, should I say, the vertical and horizontal pressures are at equilibrium. In other words, the soil does not move because the resultant forces in the three dimensions is equal to zero. Now, let's make a vertical cut along the horizontal plane in this ground that we've drawn here. We're going to make this cut along the left face of the particle that we've drawn. Now, because we're removing the soil that causes the pressure acting on this left face, there's going to be we're going to have to remove this sigma h that we have here because it can't act as there's no longer any soil. Now we can see that by removing this sigma h there's now an imbalance of forces and the system is taken out of equilibrium. The result is a translation to the left. Sigma v and sigma y um, remain in equilibrium because we've not removed any soil acting um, that causes the pressure acting on the face of the particle. Hopefully you can begin to see now why when we make a vertical cut along the horizontal plane in the ground we need a retaining structure to bring back the balance of forces that we lost when we first made the cut. Um, the retaining structure could be in some sort of um, sheet pile form or a gravity retaining wall but we'll come on to that um, in later tutorials. Let's go back now and look at our 3D particle that we drew earlier. We're going to ignore sigma y because we're not interested in its value. We're just going to look at sigma v and sigma h only. Now, sigma v and sigma h, when we're looking at the effective values um, of each of these stresses, they're related by something known as the coefficient of lateral earth pressure which is donated by a K. Now the coefficient of lateral earth pressure is defined as the ratio of the horizontal effective stress to the vertical effective stress, which is simply written as K is equal to sigma H effective divided by sigma V effective. And that's how we can calculate the coefficient of lateral earth pressure for the ground. It is important to note the properties of the soil that you'll be excavating in. If you excavate in a granular soil, i.e. a sand, then you won't be able to create an unsupported vertical face in this excavation. And that's what I've tried to show here in this little diagram. Now, if you create an excavation and make a vertical cut in a fine grain soil like a clay then you will be able to create an unsupported vertical face for the excavation. In later videos we're going to be looking at how we can calculate a depth to which we can excavate to safely and bring in a bit more theory um, about what we're looking at.